hey there what's up guys welcome to blender Wiz. and in today's video we will be learning how to model this chain in this video you will be learning how to use the array modifier as well as the curve modifier so not wasting our time let's get started so we start by deleting everything from the scene and add a curve a path curve and then we go into the top view press tab to go into the edit mode grab this edge and extrude it along the y axis then extrude it along the x axis again extrude it along the y axis Just give it a chain shape and all right. So we'll keep it like this. So once you have done, go into the um, object data properties and go into the geometry section and increase the depth. So if you increase the depth, you can see our path will take a cylindrical shape. So for the chain, I'll keep the depth to 0 0.004 and just increase the resolution. Okay, then next, let's add a cube and scale it down. Something like this. And then add a bevel modifier and apply it. Then add an array modifier and increase the count. Let's say something to six and then add a curve modifier. And inside the curve object, you select nums path. Now you can see our curve is aligned to the nums path. Then you can click on constant offset and decrease the distance keep it something like this all right and then you can increase the count so go into the top view and just increase the count till it reach the end grab it along the x-axis a bit mm, this way all right so we are done with the chain now let's go and add a text so shift a text go into the edit mode and type a text so i'll keep it sara and then you can go into the object data properties and you can extrude the text something like this you can scale it down grab along the x-axis rotate along the z-axis and just place it and select the num path and grab it along the y-axis and join it here Select this one, grab it along the y-axis, then along the x-axis, and join it here. And then you can select the cube and reduce the count. Mm, all right.
you can just extrude this a bit more okay and then you can change the font style so go under the font section and just browse the font style you can click on this file icon which will then give you various font options so for this tutorial i'll prefer this font style or maybe this or maybe this one yeah okay so i'll choose this one let's place it properly and then let's add a torus here so place the cursor here by clicking shift and right click then add a torus let's scale it down grab it along the z axis and rotate it a bit we don't have to be perfect for this because it will be hardly visible so and then click on shift d to duplicate it and place it somewhere over here Okay, so now let's add a camera. And yeah, keep it this way. Now let's go and add some material. So for the material section, I would suggest you to go and enable the blender kit add on. So go into the edit preferences. Add ons and search for blender kit and just enable it so once you do that press n and then you can see blender kit option here then go to materials and i'll select a gold material so search for gold and i like this one a lot so i'll select this one so once you download it just press on the i button so that it will disappear and just apply the same material to it all the objects so we have already applied the cube apply it to the text then select the torus and apply it the second torus as well and also apply to the nubs part now let's go and add a plane scale it grab it along the x-axis and place it somewhere here let's scale it a bit okay and then add a material to the plane as well so I'll keep it white but I'll increase the metallic value a bit alright then I'll add one HDRI so I'll give you the link in the description for the HDRI which I will be using so to add the HDRI go into the world properties click on color and choose environment texture then open the texture so I'll provide you the link in the description just go and download it it's the christmas something all right so once you're done just render the image so once you finish rendering this is what our chain will look like so i hope you like the video and if you like it then then please hit that like button and also don't forget to comment so thank you so much for watching